Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So this video is a fully random video. I wasn't planning on making this today at all. I'm actually in the middle of finishing off a review for a brand new Mercury release. And you'll see that video when it obviously comes out. But, you know, I've got to make a video on Merca because I've just seen some of the watches, as you can see, I'm looking at. Uh, and I'm, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm very frustrated, right? Now, when I do Merca videos, I get a lot of people in the comment section stating that Merca's quality, uh, or sorry, not quality, their customer service is absolutely poor. I definitely agree with that. And I'm a watch reviewer, and for me to even communicate with them is awful. I mean, I get late replies, I get like 10 people replying at the same time. It is a bit of a mess. I just really wish that they would sort this out. But having said that, the reason I'm making this video is because I've just spotted four awesome watches, probably some of the best looking pilot watches that I can see. And it's off the back of me just basically nosing around, you know, after I do the review. So let me take you to the first one, guys. So take a look at this. Um, it's the Seagull, you know, ST1901 movement. Uh, they've got a bit of an offer on this as well for $200. Uh, so around maybe 150 or something like that in, in English money. Um, but just have a look at that design. And I love this about America. They capture something unique for me. They've got this um, like vintage classical mixed with this like aggressive look. Uh, if you look at the, the bezel, you know, very uh, tool like aesthetic. And to me, that translates into quite an aggressive look. Um, it just looks awesome. And the beads of rice brace stuff. While some people do complain about quality i really like it. it it's very vintage for me i think they've really you know hit the nail on the head when they make these bracelets and then you've got a bezel-less pilot version which looks awesome uh, i mean the watch i reviewed actually has the same case as this and i believe it's around 39 millimeters uh it's a stunning case um but just i'm just really loving these combinations just check that out guys so i'm actually torn which one to get well i'm not torn i've decided i'm gonna go for this black bezel-less with the bracelet because i can always have the option of using a normal strap and then going for the one with the bezel um white or black maybe black dial again and here we are um just for that you know contrast on there because with the white the hands might not be you know that visual however it still looks awesome um and that looks great now hell of a lot of options here um you can also choose if you want that red crown tube or not but i think uh, the red crown tube does really look nice uh, but you can have a stainless steel one if you so wish so that's two watches that i definitely want to get my hands on and then i come across another two watches which again just looks so awesome uh, and they're not too different in design but this one is actually the the big eye as you can see um so your sub dial at your three o'clock is larger i mean it's a bit of a vintage thing uh it's a bit of a thing on pilot watches as well this big eye stuff um and then they've got these stunning color options i mean look at this dial um you know this fume style dial black in the center it's gradient it out should i say and then you've got this green one which looks absolutely awesome um then you've got of course black and then you've got this gray uh which again does look quite good um these, these watches just look awesome to me 40 millimeters i think they've got like a 47 48 mil log to log uh 20 mil log width etc and then they introduced this bezel-less one as well with this setup with a big eye spoiled for choice that's what i make this video guys i am absolutely spoiled for choice but not only that i thought i'd give you guys a heads up give you some information uh, in case you wanted to get yourself a uh, you know a bit of a piece of this and this is the frustration with Merca. so you have to rely on like quality i suppose because every watch i've had yes granted they were review pieces they've all worked uh so it does feel like a bit of a chance when you buy from america because delivery could take long um and then you know the the customer service behind it is next to non-existent or you have to really really pursue them uh, and because of all these options here you've actually got to leave messages uh, or leave notes within your order to actually uh tell them you know all the little bits and bobs like if you want the red stainless steel tube or not and what color and etc you have but uh, this is the gamble like i have bought for america before personally for myself uh you know want uh, something i want to keep um and yeah you really just gotta take that just bite it basically bite the bullet and buy it hopefully nothing goes wrong because customer service you are going to be stuck and this is the most frustrating thing about america because i think they do really awesome stuff and you haven't even looked at the dress watches 
uh, that they do all those you know vintage watches that I reviewed previously those 38 mil cases but these look awesome so I'm definitely gonna get my hands on a few of them uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm trying to get a couple of these for review if I can so I don't need to pay for them uh, and see what I can get for free and then I'll probably pay for a couple of them but there is a code that you can use um, so let's see if, if that code works uh, it's, I think it's Merca watch uh 50 but really let me put the code in here without putting in my details uh no i have to put the code the details in first all right well anyway i won't be doing that now um and then what i'll do I'll, I'll basically get back to you guys if the code does work but i'll put the code up on screen i think it's america watch 50 um and they do give a decent discount but some of these watches already are on a bit of a discount and I want to get my hands on all of them in all honesty because they look so good. Um, so yeah, guys, check out Merca Watch Group. Obviously, take into consideration what I've said. I'm not the only one saying this. There's a quite a few frustrated people, you know, with the customer side of things. However, you cannot deny that the the designs they've got. I mean, this is probably one of the best looking pilot watches I've seen. And I'm not that much of a huge fan of pilot watches, but for me, it, it you know it gives that dive watch sort of look. And then when you get to the bezelless one, you've got that field watch plus pilot chrono, and and I've seen the cases personally as well, and they are stunning. Uh, so, yeah, check them out, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, am I just uh, getting too excited here, or am I onto something with these guys? So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.